Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Owner Diaz Show. Today's show, a review and discussion of Nope. I actually recorded this a review already, but decided to scrap that earlier version so I could get my head straight and really give this movie a proper review that I think it deserves. This is definitely one of the most anticipated films, at least for me and for a lot of people this year. I really wanted to give my review its best foot forward. Nope is the story of a horse training family in Hollywood that falls in hard times after its matriarch dies. And it is up to the remaining members of the family to bring the horse business back. And in the process, they find something sinister lurking near their land. This movie stars Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, and Steven Yun. Directed by Jordan Peele, this is his third major release. And like a lot of the other Jordan Peele movies, this is a horror movie that has a lot of action-adventure tropes and a little bit of creature feature tropes as well. Movie. A lot of this movie really harkens back to the early 80s creature features, namely like Jaws, Tremors, and the last third of this movie really bears that out. And when you find out what's really happening on this farm and what they're dealing with, I think that's some of the most inventive storytelling that I've seen in a long time. I really did have a good time with them on the farm and figuring out what's going on, and... The third act of this movie is completely dedicated to them trying to figure out what is going on and dealing with it. And I think the third act has some of the best directing that I've ever seen from Jordan Peele. It is the first act of this movie that I think is weaker than the last part of the movie. And it doesn't really have to deal with what's happening on the farm. And it doesn't even really have to deal with the characters that Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer play. I think they're both fantastic. I also think Steven Yeun does an incredible job. There's just a lot of filler in the beginning part of the movie that is a part of a whole other plot that I think could have been its own movie. And when the connective tissue finally comes and brings these two movies together, I think it falls flat. Like all Jordan Peele movies, this movie is filled with subtext. From the very first frame of this movie to the very last, the subtext is prevalent. And to a lot of good effect, 100%. And I think the first half of this movie tells a story that is sinister and thrilling, but I just don't think it fits with the broader narrative of the film. I enjoyed both movies, but when they come together, I think it's clunky. The first half of the movie deals with Steven Yeun's character and dealing with something, a trauma that he dealt with as a child that informs his character decisions throughout the movie. Where I think it becomes clucky is the fact that Steven Young's character doesn't interact much with Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer. They do have a scene together, but that's really it. One scene. They have another scene where they're talking far away from each other. But other than that, they're completely separate ideas, completely separate stories in a way. They do connect, obviously. This is one movie, complete movie. However, it is split. And I think that splitting really does lessen the effect of the whole thing. With that said, I think the third act of this movie is some of the best directing I have ever seen from Jordan Peele. Seriously. He really brought out his inner Spielberg. There is a sense of scale. There's a sense of sweeping thrill throughout the entire thing. There's some really inventive stuff here. The camera movements are visceral. And when you really find out what they're dealing with, it is terrifying. There are some truly horrifying moments in this movie that are done not in an extravagant way, but in a way to elicit a terror and fear in the audience without showing too much. It's truly masterful. Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer have an incredible chemistry. They work really well together. Daniel Kaluuya has a very subdued, melancholy performance that really blends well with Kiki Palmer's more charismatic character in this movie. They're really fun together. And everything they've done together brings some much needed levity to the whole thing. And there are some extra characters that are brought in through the second act and the third act that I think blend well and make the last act of this movie a really solid ensemble piece. Ensemble piece that harkens back to Spielberg's Jaws or Tremors, where it's just a few people that know what's going on and they're doing their absolute best to deal with it. And there's some really fun interactions in that. Ultimately, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. 
It's fun. It's thrilling. It's terrifying. The subtext is ample and it makes sense. My only issue is the fact that there is a whole nother plot in this movie that connects with the whole thing, but is just not blended well together with what this movie truly ends up to be. I'm trying not to spoil anything because this movie deserves to be seen spoiler free. Ultimately, I am still excited to see what Jordan Peele does next, based on some of the things I see in this movie. The production design is subtle. The cinematography is beautiful. There are some incredible shot for night, day shots in this movie that rival some of the best cinematography that I've seen this year. It's just beautiful. Jordan Peele really does have an eye, and he really, really stretched that eye in this movie. And it all truly comes together in the third act. The third act of this movie, I keep saying and I'm harping on it, because it's just so good. It's some of the best filmmaking I've seen, not just from Jordan Peele, but from anyone this year. It is fun, thrilling, terrifying, and really comes together in a way that I think fucking works. However, the first half of this movie is just balked down to me. So I give Nope a solid 8.5 out of 10. An extremely well-made movie with subtext filled throughout. And when the conceit happens and you realize what's happening, it is thrilling, terrifying, inventive, and something I haven't seen in a while. Jordan Peele's directing of action in the third act is out of this world. It is just the first half that contains a whole nother plot point a whole nother story that I just don't think mends together with the rest of the movie in a cohesive way. It does blend, but it's done clunkily. And, and I think it could have been fixed by at least having Steven Yun and Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kaluuya's character have more scenes together to really flesh out the combination of both of those specific plot points. You will know what I'm talking about when you see the movie. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Arnie Diaz.